Good morning. My name is Dan Omdahl, Fire Information for Pacific Northwest Incident Management Team 10. For anyone who's looked outside, it's clear that the weather is changing. And here to provide a weather forecast is our incident meteorologist for the Cameron Peak Fire, Steve Ippolito. Hello, I'm Stephen. I'm again the incident meteorologist here on the Cameron Peak Fire. I'm here to give you an update on today's weather. Well, what we have is a low pressure system that's over southwest Kansas is kind of giving us an easterly flow. Uh, previously, we knew the easterly flow was coming, but it looked to be much shallower than it was and to give us some light snow over the eastern part of the area. But over the last day or so, the models have showed us that you know, it flows a little bit deeper and going to be a little stronger. So it's actually going to push across the whole area and give us some upslope. So what we're looking at is some upslope snow. And we're looking at about three to five inches in the higher elevations, possibly in some of the steeper and higher elevations, steeper slopes could see a little bit more than that, maybe six to eight inches. So that's going to go through all day. We're even going to get it in the valley down towards Loveland and Fort Collins, going to get some snow. Not as much, probably around an inch or so, maybe a little bit more if we're lucky. Um, that's going to go on into this evening. And after this evening, that's going to move out and we're going to start drying out a little bit. And then each day for the next week, we're not really going to see much in the way of snow, maybe a little spit here or there, but it's going to be mostly dry. Humidity is going to be um, moderate, um, not too bad. And we're going to see windy conditions out. The wind out of the west is going to be gusty in the high elevations, could gust 35 to 40 miles an hour each day, especially in the afternoon hours. So that's going to be a factor. If you're going to go up in the mountains, keep that in mind. It will be breezy every day. And the weather, the cool weather, is going to stay with us all week. And after this week, we're going to see a warm up and probably a little bit drier conditions uh, the following week. And that's the update. Okay, great. Thanks, Steve. Okay, and jumping in to close it out, Kel Casey back with you, staying on with Team 10, and we wanted to let you know that the incident commander, Al Loss, and the entire team, glad to be here. They're being faced with a similar challenge that Rob Allen's Pacific Northwest Team 2 was faced with, where early on in the incident, we have snow that's going to both help us, because it's going to put the fire down, and lower those energy release components we've been talking about by getting moisture in the landscape, but then also it creates an important safety watch out for both the fire engines and fire crews and repair folks that are out there from the video you've seen, and also the public driving around the fire area or any corridor where we have engines or crews working or scouting or going out to see how much snowfall fell. As Steve mentioned, we don't know quite yet what the storm's gonna do. The forest has opened some areas, as we mentioned the other day. So remember, know before you go, stay tuned to those Forest Service pages. As the incident progresses, we can anticipate more of the closure area becoming reduced, but stay tuned to that. That's the Arapaho Roosevelt National Forest Facebook page. And as you saw this morning, Operations Chief Steve North did a great report out. That'll continue daily as long as the need is here. And we take our direction from, of course, the forest and all of our partners working together to bring this incident to a close. So all the contact information stays the same. All of our PIOs who've been answering emails, answering phone calls, responding to Facebook comments, they're still here. They're still here engaged for you. So keep those questions coming and we'll keep putting up any information we have about the work that's getting done so we can show you the good work on the landscape to get this to a finish line. Thanks so much.